a Beasley infield single, and now an Ogren infield single. Neither are being held on here with two outs in the last of the second inning. George, the left-hand batter, facing the right-hander, Clements. He comes set at the belt, and the pitch. That's lined to right field, base hit. Beasley's being waved home. Here's the throw from McAdoo. It's cut off, and the Mustangs lead one to nothing. The senior, Josh George, delivers in his final game at Baggett Stadium. First pitch to Williams is a called strike on the outside. Nothing in one. Williams, the first baseman, 0 for 1. Left hand hitter. And the 0-1 pitch is hit on the ground to third. Nice stop made by Samuelson. He was playing in on the grass, and he throws out Williams at first base for the final out of the inning. So Michael Clark had 11 saves last year. Doesn't have one this year, pitching in a much different role as the fastball to Martinez is hit foul out of play. Surprised to not see the freshman uh, showing any signs of bunning in this at-bat? You would think, but... Two eight now with a 0-2 count. Well, obviously now, uh, no chance that he drops one down. But you know, with Tevin Mitchell, a pretty good right-hand hitter on deck, you question the decision not to. As the 0-2 pitch is hit on a hop to short, Doherty backhands to Ogren for one. The relay to first, double play. Six four three on the twin killing. Last of the fourth inning, chatting with uh, Cal Poly running backs coach Aristotle. Thompson, also the recruiting coordinator as the 3-2 pitch. That ball hit well into left center field. Chasing and diving and making the catch out there is Tommy Jew. What a play. The opponents do. That's right. Now Bradley Beasley chopping a ball towards the left side, fielded by Martinez, but Beasley reaches safely, and now Ogren lines one. That's a fair ball. It rattles around down there in the left field corner. Beasley's being waved home. The throw is cut off. And the Mustangs tack on another run. It's 2-0. There we go. Boys. Hey, you're good luck, AT. ESPN hey. Plus, uh, which is pretty cool. You critique some of the, uh, the the players these days in the playoffs. But, I mean, uh, you can't ask for something better than that. As Marin Khan sends a high fly ball deep in the right field, it smacks off the wall. One run scores. Two run score. Here comes McKenna. The throw to the plate is not in time. A three-run double off the bat of Kyle Marin Khan's and the Mustangs have broken this game open. It's 5-0. Double that. Here's the 1-1. And that's lined to right field. Base hit. One run scores. Meyer runs past the stop sign. The throw to the plate. Offline. A two-run single for Dylan Doherty. And the Mustangs tack on two more. It's 7-0. Beasley from the right side. Looking to bring a runner home is Meyer. And the pitch from Steigerwald. That one ripped to left field. Base hit. They'll send a runner home. And a misplay by Sam Cohen. It's 8-2. to two, And that might be hit in the air by Sam Cohen. So it was hit. Chopper to left field. But a in the wrong. Or as the youngsters say, took an L on that one. You know, I'm still somewhat young, I suppose. More than Chris, but doesn't really mean much. The count, one ball and no strikes. One out, man at third, and here it comes. That one smacks a right field base hit. That will score a run. RBI for George, and it's now a 9-2 ball game. And he will face Clay Fisher, right-hand batter. Final chance for Santa Barbara to try and extend this game. And the first pitch lifted out towards right field. This should do it. Beasley going back, he makes the catch. This game is over. The Mustangs have swept UC Santa Barbara again for a third consecutive season. Now nine in a row for Cal Poly over UCSB and today's final score in the 2018 home finale. Cal Poly 9, UC Santa Barbara 3. The Mustangs are at 500 overall.
27 and 27 on the year, now 12 and 9. In the Big West Conference, UC Santa Barbara drops to 24, 27 and 1, 8 and 13 in Big West Conference play.